it's Emily, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be packing for a trip. And I'm also going to be showing you the best, most organized way to pack for a trip from my experience. So I'm going on only a short three day long trip for a college orientation type thing, but it's also at a beach. So I'm packing for a beach trip, but also a college trip. This is gonna be more centered on how to pack for a shorter trip, but I'll definitely include some like essentials for like any type of trip that you'll go on. So first, you're gonna need your suitcase. This is mine. It's definitely a little bit big for a three-day trip, but I figured we're driving. We've got all the room in the world. I don't need to size down. This is my suitcase that I have, so this is what I'm using. But for you, you could either use a duffel bag or a backpack or a smaller suitcase, of course. I'm just gonna be using what I have, which is this larger suitcase. Also, I have no doubt that I will probably use up all of the space that is in it because you'll see what I pack in it as we continue this video. So I actually leave in two days, so I have today and tomorrow to pack, and then the next day I leave, so I'm going to try to do all the packing today. So first, I'm going to set my suitcase up on a stable place. So you definitely want to find a place that you're not going to need to use all the time. So like the floor is great. I have a little stool in my room that I'm going to set my suitcase on. Let's go. Okay, so here's the suitcase that I am bringing. This is the inside of it. So first I already have a bunch of backpacks in here that I will not be using, but these would still be totally good just for a short trip to pack everything in. But we're not using them today. But inside of my backpack. I have a bunch of bags. So these are really gonna help with packing and with just putting things in, sorting them out and organizing it. So I always keep all these. So in here we have like some random pencil cases, some Etsy bags, some bags that came in like a gift set, all types of bags. And so these are super helpful and I just store them inside my suitcase when I'm not using it. And then in this section, <laughs> I have some more bags. These are my packing cubes. These are so helpful and handy and keep things so organized. I love them. I believe I got mine from Amazon. They weren't too expensive. We have a little laundry bag. We have the larger mesh pouch, a medium sized one, a small one, and then this kind of hidden pouch. This one doesn't have the mesh. Also, I'm going to be repainting my nails today or tomorrow, so that's why they look so bad. Sorry. But yeah, that's everything I'm going to be using for packing. All right, first thing I want to pack are the clothes that I'm going to be wearing. So I have three days and two nights, and I probably want to take pictures like at the beach or somewhere. So I definitely want at least one cute outfit. I'm going to need two pairs of pajamas, swimsuit, a comfortable casual outfit, for the college tour. And then at least one fun beach dress. I'm gonna want a bag, shoes, all that. But anyways, I have clothes on my bed set out. I'm gonna decide which ones I'm going to bring, so. So I figured out for the most part what I'm bringing. So first, the basics, we have pajamas. I've got two bottoms and two tops. They're not necessarily matching, but it doesn't matter. I'm like sleeping in them. And then we have outfit number one. This one is what I'm going to wear to the little college thing. So I have this denim skirt and this pink velvet top. And then this I'm gonna bring as a backup just in case it's like too hot. It's supposed to be like cloudy, but like hot and kind of humid. So we'll see what I ended up wearing. And then I have this dress I want to bring, and then also this dress, so two dress options. This one I do have to kind of re-sew a strap. That'll be easy. We'll see if I'm motivated enough to do that. And then also I just got this skirt. I want to wear it. So it's another option. And then this is the only top that I think like kind of matches with it. I don't know if I love them together, but I think they would work. So those are like my options. I'll probably just bring them all or wear one of them there because these would be also comfy outfits. And then also I've got two different swimsuits and also a swim cover up. That's everything so far. And then also this pair of shoes, perfect for the beach and also the match with everything. So those are my outfits at the moment. Okay, so now is the time to pack them into the cubes. Usually I just start with the biggest cube and pack all the clothes in it here. So I'm going to fold them all, kind of like Marie Kondo style, I guess, and put them in here.
Alright, so all of this is mostly done. I just have to pack this dress in after I fix the strap. And then I ended up putting my swimsuits in here, in this little thing. So that's in there. And then this is going to be like my little toiletry case. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything that I need toiletry wise. So let's go. Okay, that's a lot of toiletries. So moving on to my next hack. So I have a bunch of these little containers that I'm going to move everything into. A few of them I already have labeled and have things in. And then I also have this, which I will usually move my perfume into because it's a little perfume spray bottle. But I currently have a little sample that I'm working on. So I'm just going to bring my little perfume sample instead. But yeah, these are from Kitsch. They're the little bottles. And then a bunch of these things. And also little, whatever these are, screw cap things. So yes, these really help. Because look at the size of this and this. Compared to like this and this. So those really help to save space and allow you to pack more and just less clutter. So I love using these. So I'll show you how much space this saves. Okay, so here's the before of all the products that I am bringing, all in their original bottles. So we've got skincare, hair soap, other hair products, perfumes, lotions, other things like that. And I actually already have this little sample size face sunscreen that I will be bringing, but originally it would probably be like something around this size. And then these are the products that I won't be sizing down because, well, they don't really size down that well. So these are the things I'm going to be sizing down and also this. I'm actually also going to be probably bringing soap on this trip because hotels never have soap. They always have the bar soap that's like really bad. So I'll probably be bringing some soap, hand soap as well. So this is the before. And here is the after. So as you can see, it takes up significantly less amount of space. These are the bottles from Kitsch. And then this is small enough that it's fine on its own. And then we had sample sizes of perfume and lotion. And then sunscreen, I could definitely move into one of the other bottles, but it is only three ounces. And then again, sample of this. So yeah, I love these and would definitely recommend them. Also, I labeled them all. So that's all the toiletries, all of this that I'm going to be taking. So let's move to the bed. Okay, so here I have everything that I can pack in advance. I still have some things that I'm going to use before I go on the trip. So we're not packing those yet, but we're going to pack these. I like packing toiletries in plastic bags so then if they spill, they don't get on everything. And then the bag is also easy to clean. So we're gonna separate them into skincare kind of shower items. And then these are just randoms. So skincare will go in here. So there's that bag all complete. And then I need a bigger bag for the rest of these items. Toiletries are done. Okay, that's the majority of what I can pack in advance. So I'm gonna go ahead and zip these up and put them in the suitcase. It is now the day of the trip, so I didn't pack anything more yesterday. I just have a few more things and then like the last minute things. So I have a little bit more time before I leave so I can pack more today and finish everything today. And I could have even started my packing yesterday and it would have been totally fine. But I do think it's better to be prepared and I got everything done in advance, so that's good. Today I just need to pack my travel bag there, the bag I'm going to keep with me, like in the car. And then I'll also pack the last minute things that I needed to use before I could pack them. So let's get to that. Okay, so here's the rest of my toiletries. I'm gonna put those in the toiletry bag. So that's everything I need to put in there so then I can close that bag. Okay, so all of these bags are complete. Now moving on to this side. So I have the perfect storage cube 
system. These fit so perfectly in this side and then there's one extra so I usually end up putting one on this side. So this one isn't really necessary because I don't have much to put in it. But we've got a towel and a little hat. And I also want to pack this bag. And then over here, this is the bag that I'm going to bring with me in the car. So I'm going to pack all of this in it. So we have snacks, camera stuff, other stuff, and then also these things and my phone and everything. And then I need to pack all my chargers and my computer too. Okay, so in this bag, I've got my computer in there. And then we need, this is my camera stuff. I still need to put my camera in there, which I'm using right now. And then I'm going to bring this just because cute pics. And then this bag and my wallet. And then my phone. We'll go in there and then I've got to bring my water bottle and then another tip. I'm going to fill up this one gallon water bottle because often on trips the water is not going to be that great. Either it's going to taste weird or it's just like not going to actually be drinkable water and you have to be on bottled waters the whole trip. I prefer to just bring my own. Now this is only really going to last a day but it's better than nothing and I'm only staying for one full day plus like two parts of a day. So we're just gonna stick with bringing this. Okay, another tip, bring your own blanket, your own pillow, because there is a good chance the ones at the hotel or wherever you're staying at are gonna suck. Also, um, I don't know if we trust hotel blankets. Also, peep the nails. I did repaint them as part of my little prepping process. So yes, bring your own blanket, bring your own pillow, because you want to be sleeping well. I think blankets are less important. It's the pillow that really matters, because you don't want to have neck pains the next morning just from sleeping on a hotel's pillow. But also, I like to bring my blanket, because you don't know if those are going to be, like, super thick or super thin. So I'm bringing my soft, nice blanket that I like, and a pillow. And I pack those in my suitcase which is why this giant suitcase comes in handy because I fill it to the brim because I always take a pillow and a blanket when I'm traveling no matter what they're an essential and we're good to go tea 